All right, now how many people have ever played with tornado tubes? All right, yeah, you can buy these little coupler things, or you can make them very easy. If you want to make your own, what you do is you get two bottles, all right, you could tape them together. But here's a very important thing. Make sure you put the water in before you tape them together. All right, if you tape them together and then try to get the water in, it doesn't work. All right, so we have a bottle filled with water. I just colored it blue so you can see it. We have a bottle filled with what? How many people say air? How many people say nothing? How many people say you can't tell by looking? Mmm, you can, except in Los Angeles where it's brown, but that's something else. I was there a couple of months ago. It's scary. Brown air. You don't want to breathe. Anyway, all right. The air may be here, or maybe not. So how can we prove it? I need instant experiment to prove that the air is there. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? That would work, but I don't want to open the bottle. So what else can I do? If I don't want to open the bottle, what can I do? What can I do? Yeah, stand up and do this. I can't do all the work here. She's falling down. All right, flips the bottle. Show them. Look, we have bubbles. No, we don't. It's a, yes, we do. Shake it up. Got it, shake it, hey. Oh, look, no, no, look what you've made. You've made a twister. Oh, look, there's a cow. There's another cow. Same cow, bad movie. How many people saw the flying cows? Oh, that was a bad movie. But anyway, we've got, why they call it a tornado tube? Yeah, when you have the water here, Something's holding up the water. What? Air. If there was no air, the water would go straight down. All right? So we got a couple of bubbles going up. Now, this is actually a very important thing. Because even if you have never made one of these tornado tubes at home, you have one at home. What? I heard it. Go ahead. The toilet bowl. When you flush, most people don't think about it. They just go and flush, right? But you need to have a tornado in your toilet. If you didn't have the tornado, that's why, right, right? The water goes around the circle, all right? If you didn't have the tornado, what would happen? Nothing. <laughs> and that would be really disgusting, right? So back in the 1800s, a very clever dude figured out how to put a tornado in the toilet. Now, somebody's got to know his name. The man responsible for the modern flush toilet. Yes, Sir Thomas Crapper. Not you, but the guy who invented it. Sir Thomas Crapper, he was the one who made, that was his real name. He put the tornado in the toilet, they knighted him for him because it was such an important thing. But, of course, every once in a while, the tornado in your toilet stops working. And then, you have to result in using this. Now. The toilet plunger. Let me explain something really important before I do this. This toilet plunger has never been plunged in the toilet. This is a science plunger. I only use it here. If you have one at home that's been plunged in the toilet, don't play with it. It's disgusting. It's got germs and icky things all over it. All right. But this one, this is this is has never been plunged. All right. So if you've ever played with one, you know that, or if you've seen them, right? You take the plunger, you put it down, you pick it up, you put it down. No problem, right? But if you do this, slam dunky, now it sticks. It sticks good. In fact, it sticks so good that when you try to pull it off, sir, you look like you have a lot of strength. Could you help me here? Yeah. <laughs> Walmart. Um, <laughs> This is uh, a problem, right? <laughs> this is not supposed to happen, all right? Now, of course, okay, we got it. Of course, when most people see this, they say, well, of course it's supposed to happen because a toilet plunger is really just like a suction cup, right? But do suction cups really suck onto things? 